These discussions come after an agreement was reached in Tunis between Libyans last Sunday without the supervision of the United Nations. The UN rejected the deal, saying it didn't include all the different parties and that their roadmap is the best way forward. For some people, this is the last chance to strike a deal and save Libya. There are people who are traitors, who sold the country and do not want stability for the nation and want destruction. If we do not get a solution, then there is treason and injustice to Libyans. Libya has been in crisis since the fall of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, the security vacuum created by fighting between different Libyan factions has allowed armed groups, including ISIS, to take territory. So for Mohammed Ali Shoaib, vice president of the Libyan parliament, there is only one way forward. So far, so far. We try, we try once again. I hope that we will overcome. More than two million Libyans have fled the country, many of them to Tunisia. More than half a million have lost their homes and the insecurity has also allowed thousands of refugees to use Libya as a departure point to Europe. The United Nations needs to persuade Libya's rival parliaments to attend an international conference called this Sunday in Rome. There is talk in diplomatic circles that if they don't come to an agreement soon, then military intervention in Libya may again become an option. Yusuf Geji, CCTV, Tunis.